somebody doing better than Christina Aguilera. Let me know when you win a Grammy. Number three, Big Horn at number five, Chung River. First quarter, Chung River wearing the white. Kim Kaywood almost loses the handle, then recovers to score the first basket of the game. Lady Eagles up 2 nothing. A Big Horn was ready to lead a charge. Molly Carlson thinking about swishing upon a star, and she will for three points. Lady Rams take the lead 3-2. to two. Here's a nice heads-up play. Molly Wright's going to pick off that pass. If this was a football game, it would be a pick six, but since it's basketball, she'll have to sell for two points instead. Visitors lead 7-2. to two. This game is a rematch of last year's state championship game, and Tongue River wanted to serve a reminder as to who won. Sarah Nielsen scores the first two of her 12 points here. Her team trails 7-4. to four. Uh, For Bighorn, sometimes you just had to be in the right place at the right time. We lost the ball off the deflection, but somehow Katie Van Hoosier ended up with it for Bighorn. She'll take advantage of the situation to make it 11-6. to six. The Lady Rams have only lost one game coming into this one, and they were off to a good start making sure number two didn't happen. Wright led all scores with 16 points, and the lead is up to 7 at 13-6. to six. Tongue River has played their share of tough opponents, but it's been a while since they've beaten one this season. Tyann Main gets the bank shot to drop, and the Lady Eagles were down 13-9 to nine after the first eight minutes. Second quarter, TR was beginning to spread their wings. Jory LaFrance will finish the fast break, and the home team found themselves only down by two. It's 13-11 to 11 at this point. The arch rivals weren't going to give up the lead without a fight. Molly Carlson is open behind the line, and that's what you get for leaving her alone. Bighorn's still up 16-11. to 11. However, the defending chance for picking their shots. Nielsen works her way in underneath the hoop and scores again. Lady Eagles are still within striking distance, down 16-13. The Lady Rams had more experience on the floor, and they knew how to use it. Van Hoosier collects the miss and puts up a nice hook shot for two points. The scoreboard now reads 18-13. Then the scoring pace of the game really slowed down. Chuck River scored a few from the line, but they missed the last six in a row. Thankfully, they were only down 18-16 going into halftime. A slow-paced game is the cue for the cheerleaders to get the crowd back into it. The more, the merrier. Third quarter, TR was the one taking advantage of what little scoring there was. Nielsen takes the bounce pass and gets behind the defense for another basket. Her team's down by one. It's 20-19. Bighorn had their moments, and then they had their moments. This 15-footer by Corey Puckett was the only field goal of the quarter for her team. They're still up, though, 22-19. But it was time for the Lady Eagles to fly. Top of your screen. Look how wide open Kaywood is. There's three more of her 12 points. Now the crowd is in it because the lead has changed hands. It's 23-22. The opposition went back up with a charity stripe, so the home team had to get it back. Nielsen does the honors, and Tung River was up 25-24 going into the final eight minutes. Fourth quarter, they build on that lead. And the pace of the game picked up again. LaFrance, open for three. Count it. Things were looking good. It's 30-24. to 24. A big horn hasn't been used to trailing this season, but they didn't fold up shot. Wright would try to set things straight with his short-range jumper. The deficit's down to four at 30-26. to 26. Lady Rams are making another charge at things. No good on that shot, but Wright will get the offensive board, the putback, whistle, and one. The three-point play has the visitors down by one. It's 30-29. to 29. But the long bomb was working for the home team. Bighorn forgot about LaFrance, and she'll burn the net for three more. Lady Eagles open up some breathing room, leading 33-29. The visitors weren't having as much luck with the outside game as they were going inside. Then Hoosier collects the miss, sticks it back in to get things back down to a two-point contest. CR was trying to soar, and they would here. Sarah Rawlings is already halfway down the court. Her teammates find her on the fast break. The home team was trying to pull away up 35-31. But the Lady Rams would not go away. Puckett finishes a similar fast break on the near end to keep her team close. It's now 35-33. The defense would apply a press, but it had some holes in it, and TR went right through it. This is Taylor LaFrance driving the baseline. She added to the cause, and the Lady Eagles would hold off their rivals in the end and get the W, 44 to 38.